New items can be purchased at the Twin Maiden Husks. Let's go. What the hell? This guy's gone, man. There's still, wait, wait, there's still some people here. How you doing? Take a look around. The round table hold is burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before. You're goddamn right. I need your help. His roots are so he won't last shackles high time. You know what? The blacksmith has done such great work for us. You're free. Although, also, I need you to stay and upgrade my shit. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I am... Now that we have three somber stones, we might as well take our... Uh, now that we've beaten the final boss, we might as well take that dragon claw up a level. We can, we can rework our, uh, our build at a later date. You gotta get out of here, brother. Oh, no, he's not leaving. Okay. Check out Godfrey's axe, too. Okay, hold on. I gotta say hi to the loathsome dung eater. You killed him? Yeah, but like maybe his ghost is still chilling or whatever, right? I definitely killed this idiot. You got some loot for me? You're literally wearing his skin? I'm wearing his carapace, okay? By the way, take some bell bearings. Don't stop till you're numb. Holy cow. You guys chilling in here? Dung eater? Oh, he's gone. Behold, prawn. Um, maidens? Any maidens? Where's the lady? I thought the lady and the fingers were in here. I also thought the old lady threw it into the ocean at the end. She's not in there anymore? They're dead? They're upstairs. They're in the center? The center? Oh, at the door. They're through the door, of course. I thought this exited to Majula. Hey, you guys still, like, cool? I'll just receive... The equipment of champions, if that's cool with you. Um, we can just buy it? We can just buy boss armor? That's kind of sick. I mean, like, Radon's helm is kind of cool, man. But I could also receive the power of a remembrance. Like, for example, Godfrey's Great Axe. Requires 42 strength, does physical damage, strong crit, a regal roar. It's bad? Everybody said it was, you gotta look at it, it's amazing. It's average crit? What the hell? It's fun? It's alright? Unique skill, Regal Roar. Let loose a mighty war cry. Raising attack power while sending out a shockwave that cannot be guarded against. While active, strong attack becomes a lunging slash. But the thing is, I would um, probably never use it as my L2 because then I'd have to get rid of the damn pizza cutter. Double pizza cutter does appeal to me. Well, we got nothing else to do, man. We got to go... We've we've put it on long, uh, put it off long enough. We got to go to the damn Hallig Tree Roots. All right, here we go. You get three levels probably. If you told me I'd be finishing the game at thirty six decks, I don't know what I would have told you, man. I would have said I would have called you a liar probably. Okay, I'm ready. First try. You only get one chance at a first try. Look at that. Prepare to people talk. 
Why, you think I'm gonna let you watch the cutscene? Because she's not getting to say what she normally says when she kills me. I've been killed by her for the last time. You should have been staggered and you know it. That's the... Okay, never mind. No, I don't... Like, double crucible... Look, I get that, like, for the meme, it makes sense. But double crucible for... Like, it, to have to do a dungeon in advance of it. Like, that's just a pending content for content's sake, I think, at this point. It's like me when I've eaten, like, three quarters of a family-sized bag of Doritos. And my brain is trying to lie to me and send a message that's like, you know what would really hit the spot right now? Just a few more Doritos. Like, haven't you had enough? You probably just ate like a hundred Doritos. Your brain's like, you know what? I think 103 is the magic number. <laughs> I'm out. I'm in. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. She's sipping on you like a damn juice box. You just wait till I get my freaking crit window. Then I pizza cut her. Then we're instantly in phase two. And I'm not talking about a used clothing store on Princess Street. Could use some rune arcs. Hold on. You know what? Here's the ultimate uh, copium. Or, the, I mean, this is actually submission. Get that lantern off your, your hot bar. Replace it with a rune arc. We only have 114. But still, we got 114 tries. So you're telling me still... There's still no no lore video that explains this game. I'm gonna hit you one of these days. What are you doing? I don't like that one either. Don't trick yourself, I don't like that one. Good punish. This is a punish. This game is set 5,000 years after the Lord of the Rings. Bro, it feels like it's been 5,000 years since Lord of the Rings came out. So, good sense dictates you have to stop at one bleed trigger. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know, it worked. I can't believe it worked. That didn't used to work. Get out of here. No. That weapon is such BS. There's only two phases of chat. I'm kicking ass. Pizza cutter's too good. I'm getting bodied. When are you going to change weapons? When are you going to use Moon Veil? Left. Right. Left. That's fine. Then she comes down. Then she comes down. We were dancing. We were dancing, though. That was a good try. When are you gonna change weapon? <laughs> the summer of NL incoming. Dude, I'm so stoked for the summer. This has been like the longest winter of all time. Not in like a meteorological sense, obviously, but like, again, I, I'm basically, I'm just fishing for sympathy. You don't have to give it to me. I'll give it to myself. But ever since our daughter went into daycare, which we did to, you know, reclaim some of our like personal and professional time, as well as give her some socialization, um, she's been sick for like 
55% of that. Oh, I'm supposed to pizza cut you. My bad. Instead, we'll have to perfectly dodge this. <laughs> She's been sick like 60% of the winter at this point. Um, I'm ready for that shit to be over. Like, at least in the summertime, if she's sick, we could go for a walk outside. <laughs> Can't go into, like, any, any stores, but, you know. You can at least go for a nice walk in nature. In the summertime, where the baby is sick, you could not really go into a store, but you could buy something maybe from, like, a food truck that is somewhere in the city that you find. Ah, yes, the fabled Vancouverian nature. Just, like, you don't even know what you're taught. In order... You know how they say, like, speak about what you know? This city has a lot of nature, man. It's not the woods. There's some damn woods here, though. It's a very nature-rich city. Just because, you know, you live in Oklahoma City, and everywhere you look is just gray, you know, concrete and brown buildings. That doesn't mean the rest of the world... Uh, lives via, like, H.R. Geiger's exterior design principles, okay? Some places in the world, they, like, planted trees 50 years ago because they wanted their children to be happy, not just have a place to park. OKC is all right. Okay, sorry, I apologize to the Oklahoma City denizens. Give me out. I need green, man. Okay. I need some red. Why does Oklahoma City have a basketball team? Great question. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's like, you know... The same reason people want, like, Saskatchewan to get a hockey team. They're like, it's cold, so there's, like, a, a lot of opportunities to b b play, to make ice, so you could learn how to play hockey. I guess it's the same for Oklahoma. They're like, everything is flat cement. It's the perfect climate to play basketball. Get me out of here. One point five million people live in Oklahoma City. Oh, is that all? <laughs> hold, hold. That's fine. Now we gotta fight for real. Son of a bitch. Don't do that attack again. Two sips. Two sips. Try. You piece of crap. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, man. I thought it would work. Philadelphia also has 1.5 million. Yeah, but that, that strikes me as one of those things where it's like, Oklahoma City and uh, Philadelphia have the same amount of people. As long as you count uh, the Oklahoma City metropolitan area and only count the, like, four square miles of Philadelphia that constitute the exact civic boundaries. I don't know if that's true. That's just what it strikes me as. Because I've seen photos of Philadelphia and I've seen photos of Oklahoma City. I feel like Philadelphia has uh, buildings that are more than six stories tall. And like a few of them. Go ahead. What do you got for me? I'm not trying to go off on Oklahoma City. It's just because somebody took a shot at something they didn't even understand about Vancouver. Yeah, look, Origin just said he looked it up. Vancouver's 64% forest. That's, that's got to be up there by North American standards. 
As long as we're talking about cities that people actually live in and not like Forest Town, USA, population 1100, like that's got to be a very high percentage. Bro, I'm out here in Laramie, Washington. Larry, Laramie, Wyoming. Sorry. Anytime I hear about Wyoming, I always think of Sean Connery from The Hunt for Red October saying, Do you think they'll let me live in Montana? Which tells you everything that I know about Wyoming. Don't, don't, don't. What, you gonna lunge me? Actually, that's not true. I know the capital city is Cheyenne. Hold on, we're living? Do, do an attack I know how to dodge. Or don't. I'll just hit you with one of those. Oh, two crit windows? Don't be afraid to pizza cut, man. Don't be afraid to pizza cut. Don't leave. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Come on in. That hurt me. I honestly thought you were done. Terrible. Terrible news. Son of a... I'm crunching every single one of these damn souls. Oh, I didn't use a rune arc that time. Anyway, Vancouver's pretty green. It's like a it's a green city. Sometimes it's like, it's so green, it's illegal to drive. You'll be like driving, and you'll be like, I gotta get to a business that's over here. But every street that you try to go down just has a sign that says, local traffic only, plus cyclists. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're a driver. And you're like, well, I guess I'll, guess I'll park at the dang Pacific Center or something. Oh, hello, honey. Hello. Oh, lunchtime. How was your lunch, honey? Did you have pasta? Of course. Hello. Don't worry about all this on the screen right now. It's just like, you know, it's just a lady and like, she's just, we're not fighting. We're like negotiating or something. Oh, so cute. All right, you piece. That's a really good attack. I lived. I want to run away so I don't get Scarlet Rod. Does it ever end? I'm only not attacking because I don't want the baby to see the damage that a pizza cutter can do in the wrong hands. <clears throat> she got me? Let thy flesh be consumed. Why do you like the forest? Does this happen to people often in their lives? They join a conversation in media res and operate on an assumption that doesn't make any sense? Here, let me, uh, here's the play-by-play. -play. On the last episode of Better Call Saul, I said, I love the summertime because I can go for a walk and at least experience some nature. Somebody in chat who doesn't have a passport said, ah, yes, that famed Vancouver nature. 
Although I believe they said Vancouverian. To which we did some digging, some evidence-based research, and found out that Vancouver actually has quite a high percentage of uh, forests for a city of its size. Now I'm being painted as like some kind of poison ivy type character that loves the fortress when all I was doing was engaging in verbal self-defense. And now we're back. Now we're all on the same page. The fortress? When people started spamming the fortress, my first thought was not that I said a word wrong. My first thought was like, they're talking about how my brain's like a fortress of ideas. I should be dodging that one. Why do you hate nature? This is the problem with the internet, man. This is why everybody who's ever spent time on Twitter, they, they start by posting, here's a cool photo of my sandwich. And then, after that, they get 100 replies. Wow, oh, I guess you're not worried about your carbohydrates, right? Oh, is that processed meat? Don't you know what those nitrites do to your... They're known carcinogens. Oh, Dempster's bread. Don't you know they were invo involved in the Loblaws bread fixing scandal with Galen Weston? So then, phase two of everybody on social media is... Um, everybody, before they post a photo of their sandwich, they gotta go... Uh, hey, guys. I just thought it would be nice if I posted a photo of my sandwich. I enjoyed it today. I know sandwiches aren't for everybody. I know, like, way too much context surrounding every single ingredient here. I know I used uh, Heinz ketchup, even though Heinz moved their plant out of Canada. So now I could have gotten French's, but we just had some Heinz in the fridge. I'd, one of 17 tweets. Then there's a photo of the sandwich. And then phase three, the optimal phase, is just no tweets. And we're rapidly approaching that. Help me. As a, as a society. And it's for the best. Help. Back me up. The only preferences I have for, like, any biome is in a video game. And in, bi in video games, city is always the best biome. The concrete jungle. Following this, forest. Usually forest is world one. That means it's easy. You're learning the mechanics. The music's always, like, bright and sunny. It's like a Caro Caro Benito song. Then... Honestly, I think that's where you start to have maybe a, a difference of opinion. I'm like a, I'm an ice guy after that, but I know a lot of people will probably choose like fire instead, which is fine. Okay, she's like right back in here, huh? Sasuke? Fair enough. You don't like ice? I like the ice worlds, man. Not so much in, you know, Dark Souls 2. Clouds, dude, if you get to the clouds. Oh man, that's the best. If there's 10 worlds in a 2D platformer, you know like number nine is gonna be clouds and you're gonna be like, oh, Pog. This is gonna be the end. But then it's not the end, then you either go into like outer space or alternatively like, you know, maybe like the bad guy's secret volcano lair. You can't use a rune arc in this situation? Come on, man. What do you got for me? One of those. No big deal. I'm insane. Get her. Good job. It'll contribute to the stagger. Huge. Actually, amazing. I would like some green back, please. And then you got a pizza cut. Till the first bleed trigger. And then you got to get out of there. We got lucky once. Don't let it ruin your mechanics for the rest of the game. Try having some Stam. Recover some Stam. It's not illegal to have Stam. Yet. Look at that. 
You get in, you get out. You get in, you get out. Now, flasks have never really been our problem. <laughs> if they were, I'd be feeling pretty sick right now. But... Dude, if we could get a stagger and follow it up with a pizza cutter... Oh, man. Just get out of there. Get some green back. She does too. And then she rots you. She does like six there. Two? Six? No. He's insane with it. Don't rush me. You just did your... You gotta have a refractory period of some sort. <laughs> She's coming. She's coming. Oh, I was just running. I was just running. <sighs> Such a good phase one, though. This is like a boss. Yeah, she's like one of the bosses. Not like a noteworthy one. Might be fun to be a summon. It's a very good nature comment. I apologize. My initial hunch was to respond as sarcastically as possible. But that's kind of like also what you're here for. But like, yeah, if your idea of fun is getting summoned by a host who lets you solo the boss uh, while they stand in the corner doing nothing and then jumps into the phase two rot immediately, dies, and then resummons you every single time even though you put them on the do not call list. I didn't get Sasuke. Just go for it. I really, I, I thought the stagger was coming. That's why I went all in. I thought so too. There's dozens of us. Two guys. Where would you place her on the difficulty curve for Souls bosses? Um, the tippy top, I would say. I don't know if that means number one, but definitely like in the top category. That's the good stuff. Oh no. My strategies. Her or Demon of Hatred? I don't remember who Demon of Hatred is. Wait a minute. You're not making fun of me for having trouble with Demon of Song in Dark Souls 2 in 2014, are you? Time to die. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a guy from Sekiro. Ah, that I opted not to fight. Oh my god, that guy was annoying. I remember that. I did I I fought him a couple times and then was like, I'll do it later. And then by the time I finished Sekiro, I was so annoyed with the uh, response to the series that I never went back. <laughs> her or Orphan of Kos? Definitely her. And I think the first time we, we beat Orphan of Kos, it took us like three hours. That's like, uh, that's something we experienced in uh, Elden Ring a few times, obviously including Millennia. Her or Pinwheel, that's tough, cause like, her attacks are worse, but it's harder to stay awake during the Pinwheel fight. I gotta give it the Pinwheel. You think it, if we were actually doing a list, is Pinwheel the most diff or the <laughs> Freudian slip? Is Pinwheel the easiest boss in Souls history? 
It is a guy you just attack about five times. Miss Noble? I'm realizing I'm never going to remember the names of these bosses because they were so ass that there's nothing to remember. Demon of Song? Shut up, okay? Nasty. There you go. Land. Get get another one, dude. You're not sasuke me. I sasuke you. I am the one who Sasuke. I am the one who Sasuke's. Guess what? Get staggered. Oh my god. So lucky. How did that hit? How did it hit? Yes! This is our... You gotta try this. We wake her up with the pizza cutter. Just hold. Hold! <laughs> sip me, sip me, sip me. I'll still take the double sip on that one any day of the damn week. Oh, she's so fast! We were inches away. Inches away. We are right. What time is it? 131? Okay, I don't know if we're gonna get it today, but it's at least we've seen the the we've seen through the crack in the door for the first time. Twenty-nine minutes is kind of tough, but another five hours we should have it. <laughs> How you got ninety-nine rune arcs? Because I helped about a, a thousand people get further in the game than otherwise would have been possible for them. And I didn't even ask for as much as a, a bow gesture. All I asked was a rune arc. I'm going in. I knew it was coming. You ready for another pizza cutter? Please, don't leave. Let's go! She was still alive. <laughs> Before the devil knows you're dead. I'm going in. Give me two. I want holy field, as Malf says. That famous mouth quote. At least she only healed like a thousand HP off of that. No, she does two. She does two. Saved, kind of. What are we doing here? Can't you see we love each other? You gotta go for the pizza cutter, there's no doubt about it. Imagine a world where the pizza cutter hits early instead of waiting. Cause like, I gotta, what I gotta do, I gotta break lock on with the pizza cutter and manually move it a little bit to my left. And then it's gonna stagger her. She's missing like 10 hits of the, of the rev up. Don't fall for the temptation of the pizza cutter. It's literally the best. You actually don't know what you're talking about. You're watching somebody crash their car and saying, you know what your problem was? You touched the steering wheel. The pizza cutter was not the problem. Its application was the problem. Look at this. Then... No lock on. Manual aiming. Okay. Lucky. <laughs> but as, now we know. Now we know it kicks a little bit to the left.
Yo, Shadow Insurgent. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. It's a scary name, though. I don't know if I'd be able to, like, log into my Twitch account if that was my Twitch name. I'd get, like, a chill up my spine. I'd be all, like, Monka S. Oh, by the way, I am Malinia, Blade of Makila. <laughs> Did not get pancaked. Dream come true. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I'm in. Between the petals. Between two ferns. Great stagger, man. Go again. Oh, that was a dodge and a half. You input reader. That seems bad. Stop it. I'm sipping. I'm back. Okay, it's not that bad. Do another. You're so lucky that all I do is jump attack. Nice Sasuke, just kidding. Right, left, right, left. <clears throat> she do be spamming that. <clears throat> right, left, right, left, right, hard. Okay. Right, left, right, left, right, hard. We're doing a lot better on phase one. No doubt about it. Not gonna say consistently getting to phase two, but more consistently. So, like, I gotta just be honest here. The reason I didn't want to say consistently is because I was like, I feel like that invites having a very bad round. But the game knew that I was trying to cheat the system. I was trying to cheat my way out of the jinx. And as a result, I remained punished. They knew it was a spiritual jinx. They knew. You're so lucky. I feel like he's been fighting the same dude for three days, Lamau. You should travel to the VOD and rewind it to yesterday. Because we didn't fight the boss. I mean, I think we fought her five times yesterday. We beat like 15% of the game in the last two days. You feel wrong. Your, your emotions in reality are not reconciled with one another. We beat Godfrey. We beat Joffrey. We beat Malekith. We beat the final boss of the game. We beat Loretta 5. I should have held it. <laughs> I should have... I got a better chance with the hold, man. Blade of Monka. Monka Steer for Pizza Cutter? I would take that. I would take that. You beat Placid Dusax? I did beat Placid Dusax. Now that I think about it, that's damn true. Thick skin nobles? I mean, that was a gimme. Placid Usax broke for me. The man just stopped fighting. That's called a resignation. I mean, what were you wearing? Because honestly, the armor probably just intimidated him to the point where he was like, I'm not, I'm not fighting this guy. I'd rather just die. Please. Please. Okay, fine, fine. I gotta save some blue for phase two. I knocked you out of the the water skin dance. Every time. Stop. 
Stop it. Stop attacking, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm dead of it. I'm alive with it. Be stunned. Be stunned. I'm actually kind of insane. I got a pizza cut. I got no stamp. I get a pizza cut you. Are you crazy? No! Holy cow. That never should have worked. <laughs> and yet, here we are. Stay frosty with it. Don't take two. Two, it takes two. Will return someday. Two attacks should not return. Man, that's a nasty heal, huh? I'm sipping. Input reader. This attack is never gonna stop. Just embrace that. Faster you embrace that, the easier life's gonna be. Two piece. Oh, come on. Two-piece with a delay. Yankee, no brim. Sip me. One more. When you find your window, you gotta take your window. One sip, that's all it takes. Hopefully, because that's all we get. Well, she's healed more... Then I've done damage to her, and I've hit her about six times. So that's not a good start. Two-piece, please. That didn't change. That's still a great two-piece. Don't run up in the air or anything, okay? Fair enough. I'm still living. We're dancing. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I felt like I was doing pretty well. Um, she she creates rot underneath her, maybe? Oh, she does. Okay, she creates rot underneath her. Fair enough. Still got a lot of these left. Don't you have the Rot Talisman? Mm, doesn't sound familiar. I'm not gonna say no. Like Jonas Brothers never say never. Harry Styles never say never. Who, who's the artist associated with never say, Justin Bieber never say never? Justin Bieber? My, my mistake, that's an older reference for me, but it checks out. I never stopped believing it would work, and that's my downfall. Give me a quick double. <clears throat> Give me a quick double. What the hell? I staggered her with a pressure wave. You love to see it. Take your time. Take your time. Get those runes out of here. They're distracting me. There should be an option to play the game where your runes don't appear when you die. Because honestly, my runes are worth more to me dead. Like, they distract me on the map. Huge punish. Let's go. One attack, two attacks, we, we were in a little earlier than usual. All right, now we're even again. <laughs> How we doing, how we doing? One of these. Man, if only my dude could rotate like slightly faster. No! 
Just because I dodged, you gotta do one more attack? Oh my god. Input reading. Give me two. We got a chance for... I said give me two. Two piece? You can't get hit by that. That's your bread and butter. You gotta get a little bread and butter before you get pizza. Let's go. I'm not saying this is it. I'm just saying there's a chance. That's terrible. I've never seen this. Remove me. Just relax. Terrible timing. Oh my gosh, she kicked me out of it. Hard right! Sip me! I don't care, just sip me! Fuck you! Extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Heart rate? Dear Nicola. Oh, dearest. I'm gonna say we're in the. I'm gonna say we're close to 100. I'm sorry. I finally met my match. Only? I've been doing a lot of cardio lately. Hey, Tappy on 013. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, honestly, this wasn't even, like, that hard or whatever. 131 attempts? Big deal, dude. Phase three. Fanny. So that's, like, that's it, right? Hey, shloopa duper, thank you as well. Like, I mean, I'm not asking, are there other bosses? What I'm basically asking is, like, are there other things worth our time? And I feel like the answer is no right now. But we could definitely start to build a summon character and an invasion character. That could be the... They could both be the same thing for all I know. You need to be Chib's boss? I keep forgetting that guy is still ahead of me, man. Well, I the stream did what it said on the tin. I said maybe we'll beat the game today. I didn't think that we would also beat Melenia, but here we are. Hey, Degrin. Degrin. Thank you as well. Thank you. All right. I have returned to uh, a normal resting heart rate. Six beats per minute. One beat every 10 seconds. Let me check, okay? One. Two. I'm just joking. <laughs> Remember when Pierce Brosnan did that in Die Another Day? Gray method acting at its finest. Nishant. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you, thank you. I guess we could get summoned here. We got 15 minutes left. Why not? Can't do much more with 15 minutes. We might as well help people out. I'm joking. I'm joking. Just enough time for a Mario 64 run? Yeah, if your mouth. What the hell am I going to play tomorrow? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Inventory. Remembrance of the Black Blade. Discard selected. Does that... Do they see it if I discard it, or did they remove that from these games? Dude, it's cool! He could just give me his when we beat the boss. Leave is do it. Oh, man. 
Handsome Pants TM. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Discard is delete. Leave is keep. Okay. Okay. We'll see you on the hard court soon, Handsome Pants TM. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> Why am I sipping so much? Let me go through the door. I just sipped two times pressing the wrong button to get through the door. I'm in. Yeah, give me some Comet Azure. I love it. Keep it up. Keep up that good work. This is the dream composition, dude. One strength user that knows how to dodge some of the attacks. One Dex user and one blue caster. Oh no. One dead man. Never mind, I'm insane. Hey, uh, there's three people on the fight. Any chance you'd like to get in and take a little aggro? No, because as soon as you jump in and take the aggro, you just get hit. I understand. No, don't worry, it's okay. Team? You're the tank? Okay, at least do some damn damage then. I'm the tank, I'm the DPS, I'm the damn support. I'm doing it all. Oh my god, the host dodge an attack? Is this the chosen one? Don't. Don't get hit. We just need one more. We just need one more! You motherfucker! Honestly, I hate to say this. If you're in chat, I hate to say this. I blame Mothrat for a lot of that. You're a, you're a summon. Get in there and, like, why are you ever spending time not attacking? I get so... One, I mean, I get annoyed by many things when I get summoned. But one of the things that annoys me the most is when there's two summons, one host, and I'm the only motherfucker standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss doing any damage. The other furled finger is standing, like, ten body lengths away. Not even, like, at least cast a spell or something. Zero Vigor hosts also piss me off. I'm hoping that at this stage of the game, there's not too many of them left, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, we got, a ca we got a caster and a dex bleeder. I love this for us. This, whoa. Okay, that didn't do that much damage versus the spectacle of it, but. Okay, you're just gonna hold that and pray. I understand, I do the same thing with my pizza cutter. We got a heck of a bleed synergy here. I don't think you can doubt that. That was not a good jump attack. That's my, that's my fault. This team's got a shot, man. Especially now that she's frostbitten twice shy. She's gonna have a minus 20% damage absorption penalty. Yo, this host kinda cracked with it though. Move, move, we gotta get out of here! Got this heat lamp! <laughs> sorry, sorry. He survived. I'm look, I've done this before solo. I we're not the same, okay? You just hit her with that big blue ball. Everything's gonna be fine. We got bleed triggers for days. I know how to jump attack. Wow! Get her, get her. I got her, don't worry. Pizza cutter. Don't leave. That's fine. We look how close she is. I, I still don't just get out of there. Just get out of the spammer with spells. This is the perfect spell spamming opportunity. Let's go! Keep it up! 
Let's go! Give him one of these. Back to back to back to back to back to back. That was a great team, man. I'll just go ahead and tell you, they didn't need it. Well, actually, maybe you did because you're a caster, but I don't even mean that in a negative way. But, like, how are you going to cast those spells while also you're dodging? It's going to be tough. That was a great, nothing but respect for my team. First off, head. Downvote. <laughs> Why, why is he farming her? Because I got five minutes left. I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do. Now I gotta come up with dockets again, man. What the hell? Connection error. I'm not gonna fight Pumpkinhead unless you tell me where he is and if I don't have to go through a dungeon to fight him. If I can teleport to a bonfire and just smack him in the head and kill him, then it would be... <laughs> Then maybe. Limgrave Basement? I sleep. No, like, if I play Elden Ring through again, it'll be like... Yo, my beloved's team? It'll be in a, a year or two. I love when you join up on a game, someone hits you with My Beloved, and then you get to My Beloved instantly because you have it in your quick bar. That's how you know, like, we got some synergy here. He's all That's got to be a bleed weapon too, man. But I would make an invasion character for sure. I just, like, when I think about, what the hell is this, man? The swarm of locusts? When I think about how long this game is, like the first thing I think of when I think of New Game Plus is that could be fun. The second thing I think of, 800 damage. You have 800 HP. You have 800 HP. I have 1800. We are not the same. Holy cow. I just think of like how much of the game I've already forgot. Because it was so damn long. <laughs> I guess second playthrough would be faster, but I don't know. No, I'd, I'd rather become an invasion and, and summon man, personally. Yahoo, yahoo, yahoo. New Game Plus only took me 10 hours. What the hell? I guess you only fight... Godric, more God than Godfrey. I can't. I don't even know who the non-optional bosses were. <laughs> I really thought all the game would come like, you know, so crystal clear to me after I defeated it. But I still don't know shit, man. You got to do Dickskin Duo. You got to do Renala. Tomorrow we should do a boss tier list. Even though I'm a fraud because I didn't fight two Crucible uh, Warriors or Pumpkinhead. Oh, I think I fought a Pumpkinhead. I just didn't fight Chib's Pumpkinhead. Sorry. Sorry, everyone the crit. Sorry, team. Sorry. I need to spend a little bit more time looking at uh, Final Fantasy XIV raid strategies that look like shit posts. I'm so happy you lived. He's parrying? Help. <laughs> uh, this team is also cracked. She fell down. I didn't even know that shit could happen. <laughs> You're telling me this is the... F the you're watching the cutscene? This is the first time you've ever made it to phase two? Come on. Don't lie to me. I saw the attacks you were doing. This is not your first time. You just want to see my banana suit.
Well, this gives me time to go into the Discord and type. Wait. Hey. Dumb dog. I beat Elden Ring, Smiley Face, and Melania Kanaus. And Malekith, even though I had to look up his name because I beat him so fast, I thought his name was Ger Gareth. <clears throat> oh, the Scarlet Blooms once more. Okay, okay. Garonk? Yeah, I typed Gareth. My bad. Now that I've beaten this boss, it's not. She's not even like hard. I am praying this is not going to be the first time he's ever been here. I'm praying he's just horny because, like, she always goes for the host, I think. And if you've never seen this before, they just, they always run in and they're like, why am I dying? Why am I dying? Why am I? See, it's not his first time. He's just horny. Let's go. Every first time host just sprints in there immediately. Gets Scarlet Rot and then dies. Oh no. <laughs> Comedic timing. <clears throat> well, well, well. Slash Margaret Elden Ring.